You want to get Curse Forge Minecraft mods, and I get it. There are a ton of amazing mods here, and you could try to download them one by one and install them. However, the easiest way is going to be using the Curse Forge app to get these and basically adding as many as you want. It makes sure they're all the right version and for the right mod loader and everything for you. And to do that, you can go up to the top right of Curse Forge and click Get Curse Forge app. I also have it linked in the description down below that will take you to our guide on Curse Forge, where you can just click Download Curse Forge and it will take you there as well. Once you're here, go ahead and click Download standalone and the download will begin. You may need to keep or save it. Then it's just installing it like any other program. So go ahead and head to it in your downloads folder and double click on this. Then it will open up the CurseForge installer where you just need to click next, assuming you agree to the ULA, which we do, and click next again and it will now download and install. It's that easy. While it's downloading, how much from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown .xyz sgh to start your very own 24-hour Minecraft server where you can easily add mods, plugins, mod packs, and truly customize your Minecraft server any way that you want. You can even one-click install CurseForge mod packs, making it super easy to play those with your friends. There's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown .xyz sgh Nevertheless, if you get this kind of like pop-up thing, just go ahead and don't check that and then click finish. And now CurseForge will automatically open. If it doesn't, you probably have a desktop icon that you can click. But nevertheless, with CurseForge open, all we've got to do is select Minecraft. And then we want to prep this for Minecraft by clicking standard and clicking continue. Now, how do you get the mods? Well, it's actually really simple. Just click create and choose the mod loader that you want. If you have any questions here, I would recommend in modern versions of Minecraft going with either Fabric or NeoForge because that's where the most mod support is. Forge at this point is getting less and less mod support over time. When you select it, select your Minecraft version as well and you're good to go. You can name this, we'll do this our Fabric Mods and create. And then it's going to drop you where we can easily add mods by just clicking add content in the top right. And here we are. We can go through and browse Minecraft mods and install them. If it has any like compatibility mods, it will add those as well. Let's we wanted to go ahead and grab Jade. Let's also grab Waystones. We can grab Xero's Minimap. We can grab Nature's Compass. As you can tell, you can grab all of these by just clicking install. It's doing all of the work behind the scenes for you, and you don't have to worry about it. You can even do this, by the way, with things that aren't mods. You can add, for example, texture packs, things like that, using this mod. And it's, it's really, really cool how you do that, by the way, is click up here, go to resource packs. And for example, we can see Cubescraft, or we can see fresh animations if we wanted to add those. Or we can even scroll down and find Ashen 16X, which is my favorite resource pack. So you don't just have to do mods here, but that's how you can add mods. Just go through here and select them. If you're not seeing the mods you want, by the way, no worries. You could also come back here and create yourself a Forge or a Neo Forge profile because that's most likely the issue, or they're not for the version you have selected. You might need to go back a few versions. With that being said, from here, just hover over this and click play. Now, you will need to log into Minecraft, but that's okay because this is the default Minecraft launcher that's opening. You're just launching it through CurseForge with your mods, so you're safe to 100% go ahead and log in. After you've logged in, it's just like the normal Minecraft launcher. Just go do Minecraft Java Edition on the left-hand side, click play, click play again, and now Minecraft will open up. It's that easy. Now, while this is launching, I do want to mention if you want to add these mods to a server or something like that, you would just right-click on this, click open folder, and here are all of your mods. You could easily upload these to a server if you wanted, and if you wanted to share this with your friends, you can do this as well. Just right-click and click share profile. You can either export it and then they can import it, or you can even log into CurseForge and send it with what's called a profile code, meaning they don't even have to like download anything except the CurseForge app and enter a code. It's pretty cool. But at this point, we can see in the background here, Minecraft is opening. And after a second, it will actually open up Minecraft itself, where we can jump in game and see our mods. Honestly, forgot all the mods that we added. We can see Xero's minimap in the top left, and we're in a Biomes of Plenty biome. We can also see Jade, which is what's making it show that the top, this is a Biomes of Plenty biome mahogany log. So awesome stuff there. That's how you can use the CurseForge app and use CurseForge mods in Minecraft. We will see you in the next video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for help, and I'm out. Peace.